a text message. Click on it and here's the letter. That's how mothers Shereen Fawcett and Gwen Robinson say they were told the Boys and Girls Club of Paulding County will be closing its doors September 30th. You're pushing all these kids out to the streets after school. Both have sons who come here after school. Now neither know where to turn. What am I going to do? I have I have nothing. He has nothing. My, my son immediately started to cry about 200 kids on the wait list. Chairman of this club, Selena Jackson Guinness, says she found out when CEO of Boys and Girls Clubs of Metro Atlanta, David Jernigan, called her on Thursday. Get a new building or build a facility that can hold all the kids mm -hmm. that doesn't require any maintenance and um, have an outdoor space, a play area. The list was a laundry list, which he considered to be a, um, a wish list initially and then it turned into an actual must list, do. a must do. For them, this is deja vu. Two years ago, they were asked to raise $200,000 to be able to keep the club, which serves nearly 200 children from permanently closing. We've jumped through hoops the last two years. I mean, it's, this community fought to keep this, this club open. They raised more than the goal, but now they say they're left without a choice. Jernigan tells 11 Alive in part that after speaking with the county and school district, which owns the building, it came down to insufficient resources for maintenance and the inability to find an alternative location. Meanwhile, the district superintendent asks that the decision be reconsidered and that they are, quote, disappointed to learn of this decision with only 60 days notice. Today's the first day of school and we got the letter Friday. I mean, it's you gave us two days to get our kids on a waiting list to another program um, that already has tremendous waiting lists all over the county, if there's even a program that services our kids. Paola Suro, 11 Alive News. Jernigan tells us they are exploring partnership opportunities with other after-school care providers to help support families. But Jackson Kenneth says no other program will serve the children in the low wealth area like their staff does. She says all she wants is more time to find another facility to house the club.